How you doing guys, what's going on? My name's Jake, uh, this is my partner Sophie and our one year old Great Dane, Coda. Uh, this is just a quick video, just to show you guys what we feed our Great Dane and how we feed her. It's not advice on what I think you should be feeding your dog, but if, uh, if you find this interesting, then stick around to the end and uh, like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Now, I usually make enough uh, to last us around about two weeks um, so we go to the shop every two weeks we buy fresh meat and fresh veg normally takes me about half an hour to prep uh, an hour to cook and about half an hour to serve um, mainly because i enjoy it and usually that night i'll grab myself a few beers um, it's not because i think she deserves any kind of special diet or anything like that she's um you know i'm sure she'd She'd be fine on on any regular diet like like raw or, or just biscuits or just dog food that you buy from the shops. But for me, like I know exactly what's going into this, and um, I, I enjoy the process as well. Like I enjoy cooking, um, regardless of whether it's you know dog food or food for us. Uh, it doesn't really make a difference. I like spending time in the kitchen, grab a few beers, put some music on, and just kind of relax. That's my time, so I'm not really going to talk you through all the ingredients. I think it's fairly self-explanatory what's happening on the screen. Um, I will put like a shopping list at the bottom in the description. So if you did want to kind of uh, follow along and do this yourself, uh, I'll, I'll put down all the ingredients so you can see uh, what I buy and, and sort of how much I put in. And this is just all off of uh, the back of my own research so it's not it, it's not like a diet that I'm following that I found online or anything I literally just I go around the supermarket and I'll have my phone in my hand and I'll be constantly sort of googling stuff if I see something on the shelf that I think oh she might like that um, I'll google is this safe for dogs um, so like for example is sweet potato safe for dogs or is brown rice safe for dogs and all that sort of stuff and and some of it's quite conflicting like some articles will say yeah that's absolutely fine um, and others will say only in small amounts and others will say um, no it's it's not good for your dogs it can cause uh, irritations or it can cause stuff going on with the liver all sorts of stuff um, so this is just off the back of my research I sometimes change it up every couple of weeks as well it's the beauty of kind of cooking your own diet as well is uh, or cooking your own food is that you like if you find that something's not working you can change it next week and you can do something slightly different um, so for example uh, the one week I tried like tin sweet corn because you can see in the video we're doing um, we're doing tin peas and, and I I did tin sweet corn and I did mushrooms as well, um, which again are okay in, in small quantities. Uh, but we found that she wasn't she wasn't like digesting them, so they were still coming out whole the other end. And so she, from that, I sort of gathered that she wasn't really getting any sort of nutrients from it, other than it being like a bit of added texture for her. Um, I, I didn't really feel that there was any benefit to keeping it into in her diet and the fact that she weren't chewing it either like the, the mushrooms were still as I'd cut them and the sweet corn was still whole so there was no no real point in them being in there um, and again like if if I find that I put something new in this week and like it sounds weird but you've got to sort of monitor the poos you've got to monitor what's coming out on the other end and if uh, it, you know if it goes like a distant a, a different consistency then it might be something that I've put in there that's not agreeing with her uh, and also obviously 
some dogs can have um, allergies to certain things as well um, but m most of what's most of what's in this recipe is either because um, it, it's good it's good for uh, texture or it's got like a, a very specific purpose to either sort of freshen her breath make her coat nice and shiny and stop her molting yeah so everything sort of serves a purpose I don't tend to really add things unless um, unless I think it's gonna be beneficial sometimes I'll add things like rice like brown rice which I actually forgot this time it's like um, it's like a bit of a ritual of mine where uh, every time I, I, I cook her food I forget at least one ingredient so last time it was the eggs uh, this week it was the rice but it doesn't it doesn't matter like as long as it's as long as it's generally the same every every couple of weeks like I, w I wouldn't switch it up too much I, d I don't think it's good to change a dog's diet regularly uh, too dramatically anyway unless um, I'm sure if you got advice from your vet that they'd probably say the same like don't don't change your dog's diet drastically um, too often or too quickly either if you decide that um, uh, you, you want to change your dog's diet and do something like this where, whereas you were buying sort of tinned food from the shop before and then you want to do something like this I'd probably do it gradually I'd introduce it gradually not that I'm an expert but that this is just the stuff that I've read I would really 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 recommend you do your own research if you're gonna um, change their diet but yeah everything has a kind of specific purpose if I see something in the shops that I didn't think of, like I'll always Google it and, and sort of introduce it slowly over a couple of weeks. There's probably some things in here that people are, are, are looking at and thinking, what the hell, why is he putting that in there? Or or like, you might think that I'm missing out something that she could really, she could really use in her diet. And if that's the case, please feel free to comment underneath and, uh, and let me know what you think because I'm totally open to uh, different ideas and things I might not have thought of. And Cody's been on this diet since we first got her as well. We got her at six months old. Um, she was fed on a raw diet before. Um, she came from overseas. And that's uh, that's an entirely different video that we're going to be working on. Um, where we got Coda from and, and the sort of condition that she came to us in. She's quite thin. Um, and she's bulked up a lot since she's been on this diet. We've been to the vets a few times as well and they've said that she looks healthy, her breath never smells, um, yeah. The biscuits are just from our local, um, like kind of, it's like a farm shop I suppose, but they, they, they do their own biscuit mixes for, uh, for different breeds, different sizes of dogs and, and like different ages and stuff. Uh, this one is just a kind of a generic chicken and rice mix. Uh, she seems to like it. We've, we've tried a few different ones in the past, but this is one we've settled on. And then we use these Tupperware boxes um, to kind of plan the meals out. I've also weighed them here, which uh, I weighed it wrong. I should have weighed two boxes of biscuits because she has two scoops in the morning, which is what I weighed. But then she also has two scoops in the evening. And then we'll split these boxes in half. So I'll take it. I'll take it out of the freezer the night before, defrost it overnight, and then give her half in the morning with two scoops, and then half in the evening with two scoops. Um, so the bis. Ow! She just bit my finger. Ow! You're hyper tonight. But yeah, this is around about the white, the, the right weight for her. She should be eating about um, one and a half kilos of food per day and that's based on her um, age and her, her weight. If anyone wants to know which water bowl this is I'll leave a link in the description for that as well. And yeah I, I tend to sort of uh, uh, warm it up so I, I like to put it in the microwave for like 50 seconds and then just stir it into her biscuits just to if I put it separately, if I put it like on top or next to her biscuits, she'll tend to eat all the wet food and then sort of graze on her biscuits throughout the day. Uh, or sometimes she just doesn't finish her biscuits, so I'd rather she ate it all. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this, uh, this is a new channel. This is our first video on the new channel. Uh, we've got lots of other videos lined up. So if this is your, um, so if this is your thing, if you like dog videos, uh, we're, we're planning a few more. We're actually filming some at the moment. 
Uh, we've got a few ideas for the future, so please drop a sub, make sure you comment, and have a good night. Bye.